Hey, Miriam, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How about you? How was your day? Very good. I um, said, I don't know how to, to explain, but I put my Christmas tree and all my Christmas stuff around my house. Hey. So it was a day. I'm feeling very um, cheery, or how do you say? Yeah, that's uh, good. That's cheery. Yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. So it was a very good day, and uh, I already did the midterm exam, so I'm I'm good. Oh wow! Hello. Hi. 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 I thought I was. My internet is uh, uh, taking me out of the the of the meeting, but uh huh. But no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so? Okay. Thank you. What oh. have you done? Uh, you know, a typical day. Just um, I actually had a. I bought some some desks for the children, and today they came and they uh, th because they the desks are in boxes, so they're not ready. So they had to come and they had to build them. So today the guy came and he built the desk for the kids and. Um, the morning they were, you know, organizing, cleaning, sweeping, putting their books in order and doing all of these things, but oh, nice. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but a pretty relaxed day. Yeah, really for me, most of my days are, are, are usually pretty relaxed. It's not so, so difficult or so many activities that I have going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. and the, the children enjoy uh, I'm wrapping stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what age they are. They always enjoy it. They're always happy to to be doing these opening the presents or boxes or even, you know, it's something new. I, I'm, I'm amazed because even for school, the, the school books or the supplies, and they're like, oh, let me see. Let me see what's, what's new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. It is true. So, we'll see. And look, I, I cut my hair. I noticed. I noticed it's really short now. Really, really short. I, it wasn't meant this like this, but the girl who, who caught it uh, <laughs> uh, did this way. But it's almost like it's almost like, like Sandra. I I don't know Sandra. Yeah. Sandra. Uh, Sandra, you. Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, what did I do? <laughs> it, it, it makes me uh, see more cheeky or like, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, it, because her hair is like yours, Sandra. It is short now that it now it's short. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's pretty short, but it's Hair's going through. about uh -huh. the hair. Yeah, my hair is long, really long. No, we look in the picture. It looks really short. Because I have my my hair done. A ponytail. <laughs> okay. Do you have a ponytail in your photo? Kind of. Have a... oh, okay. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we... Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, to cut it, but not this short. But I don't mind. I have had my hair like yours. Really? Yes. I like I it. Love I it. like it. <laughs> uh -huh, I like it because it's easy to clean, to, wa to wash it. Oh, yes. It's easy to, I really um, loved it. I had to stylish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Five minutes and that's it. Yes. Uh -huh. I didn't spend much money using creams, conditioners, uh -huh. or shampoos. <laughs> uh huh. That's true. The only thing that I don't like is that it makes me, it makes me see, well, it's my perception maybe, but I think it, it makes me more cheeky. I don't know if it's... A, a ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. For It makes you look a little bit cheekier. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, I don't think so. Like, I, I think... 
it does, think, but... you know, I think it looks, <laughs> I think of anything, it just makes you look younger. I think this hairstyle, it makes people look younger. Yes. Really? Yeah. Some yeah, people yeah. told me that. Mm -hmm. Some people told me that I, that I look a little bit younger. Okay. <laughs> so All right. If I was thinking if, if I cut it off everything, did I, did I make, <laughs> does it, that's what makes me feel like <laughs> really, really young. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. I really like it. I really like it. I really like it. Okay. That's the important. The important is that you like it overall. That's really, yes, that's it. Yes, I like it. I like it. Okay. okay. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, was Did anybody have any problems or difficulties in the platform? Um, I know we should be, or you should be finishing up unit two, unit two in the platform. We're starting on unit or unit three with the midterm. Um, but first, are there any questions about the platform or lesson or anything like that? Um, no, I don't. Mm, nobody? No, no. Okay, great. Well, just, and, yes. sorry, teacher, just on the, on the middle exam, I, I couldn't make one of them. One answer or one section? Oh, no, one, just one answer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have tried several ways. But I couldn't. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at it and see maybe. Maybe it's just wrong or um, we'll, we'll see which one it is. Um, it is but, in part D. Okay. So Section B. All right. It is part two, section B. Okay. We'll see it. So in your midterm exam, the one that you're going to be doing this weekend, if you haven't already done, um, don't forget that even though today's Thursday, we do have class tomorrow, um, you know, because normally we finish class on Thursday, but this week, because we didn't have class on Monday, we're going to be having class tomorrow. And there are a couple mm -hmm. sections. Um, there's A, B, C, and D. Uh, section A is a listening. Um, B is about vocabulary. C is uh, the writing, and then D is reading. So in section A, um, it's, there are a couple parts. There's part A, there's a part one, and you can see there's a part two. Part one, you're gonna listen to the audio and answer five questions about the audio, about this specific audio, okay? Then in part two, it's a different type of audio. It's a different uh, listening that you have, and you're gonna answer four questions about that. Okay, so it, most of them are true and false, which are the first section, that's five, true and false. And then in the section, and the second section is just completing the sentence with the information that you heard. Okay. In part B, which is, uh, we have seem to have a question on that right now. This is where you choose the right word, okay? So you put in the word with infinitive or gerunds, okay? So infinitives, we have, if we remember the, from number one through six, in part one, this is where we use uh, the to and the verb, or we use the verb with ing, okay? So uh, you have to decide if here, Maria avoids to get or Maria avoids getting, okay? In other people's problems. You have to choose that and then just put in which one is you think is the correct form. In part two, it's using the models that complete each one. So we have several different models. We have should, could, must, might, and you can use them, or they might be used in affirmative, or they might be used in negative, okay? So if you have to use them uh, uh, in negative, you just have to remember to use the correct apostrophe. Do not use the, like in the Spanish, the tilde, make sure you use the right one, because many times yeah. that, that's one of the, the simple mistakes that people overlook, okay? So, it was, mm -hmm. in my case, was that teacher. It was a, a apostrophe matter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I have solved it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway. No problem. No problem. And I mention it because that's usually when the people say, hey, I, I know this is the right answer. I know this is yeah. the correct mm -hmm. one. It's usually something small like an apostrophe or in here, yeah. no, here, no, because it's only about the models, but sometimes it's a period, for example, or. Okay. 
or do you know the the, the numerical combination for apostrophe? I don't. I don't know I the don't. number. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then in part C, it's just about uh, you know following the uh, sorry. Uh, you choose one of the verbs, which is here. Okay, and you use it uh, correctly to complete the sentence. Okay, so you look at the different verbs that we where we reviewed, where we aggravates, causes, deals with, identifies, ignores, or runs into, and then from numbers one through six, you just which one is the correct one to complete the sentence. All right, and in part two, that's for writing. So if you don't want to have a mistake. Um, you know, uh, the easiest way is just copy and paste the answer. That way you're sure you're writing it correctly. If sometimes you might need to change it, I'm not sure, I haven't seen them all, but um, you know, sometimes you need to put first person in, instead. And if it's a first person, uh, it's not going to have an S, right? Only has S with he, she, and it, but it looks like all of them are he, she, and it. So it should be all correct. And then the second part is just, Instead of writing, it's just reading and which is the correct word? What is the correct usage you should have in order to complete the sentences, numbers one through six? All right, that's for A, the listening, B, you're selecting the word, uh, C is you're writing in the correct one in part one, and in part two, you're just choosing which one is the correct to complete. And the last one, letter D, it's a reading, okay? So you read the sentences and you choose the word that best describes each type. So here they are in capital letters, but you are not going to use capital letters. You're gonna write them normal, like in lowercase letters, okay? So in lowercase letters, you're gonna write them. So you read the sentence and then from this list right here, you choose which one is the correct one to complete the sentences, okay? that's numbers one through four. In part two, you need to read this the best way. Remember, always make it bigger. That way when you make it bigger, it's easier to read. And then you can just go ahead and look at the information you need in order to complete the sentences one through five, which is the same as part three. You can make it bigger to make it easier to read. And then you just complete the same sentences, true or false, numbers one through five. All right. Are there any uh, questions about the sections or what you need to do in this part of the exam? Not for me, teacher. Not for you, Eric. Anybody else? Anybody have any questions or anything? No. No, no teacher. You. Okay. All right. Great. So then remember, you should be working on that. Um, in order to get that done uh, this weekend. That's at the latest, you should already have unit two completed. Um, then today we're gonna be starting off with our part for unit three, if it seems to load. It seems like it doesn't wanna go there, but it just takes a moment. Mm -hmm. Give it a sec. All right, there we go. So now we have, uh, unit three, okay, so we're going to be looking at how to use relatives and non-relative clauses, okay. Now, for this one, it's the idea of relative clauses are the words that we use to give information, okay. We tend to use the words like who, uh, what, uh, where. These are the difference between defining and non-defining is in defining is necessary that information, okay. And non-defining is just extra information, like an adjective. Okay. So here, we're gonna watch just a small video first to make sure, I think I didn't put the audio. So let me put the audio and share it with you one more time to make sure. Okay. Okay, seems to be taking a moment, just a second. Welcome to a new section. Are you ready to give essential or optional information about someone or something? 
We hope you still remember how to do it. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. A defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Salvador is, is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Seoul, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics, is well known for its shopping. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. Defining relative clauses function like adjectives because they add information about a noun or a noun phrase. They must always immediately follow the noun they describe. They give essential information about the noun. People like to go to restaurants that have good food. Non-defining relative clauses. Non-defining relative clauses also describe a noun, but the information they give is not essential. They are set off by commas. That restaurant which has good food is the most popular one in town. Just to help you out a bit, look at the following charts. They are used in defining and non-defining relative clauses. Come up with your own sentences and ask your teacher to check them out for you. Okay. Let me connect. All right. So, the first things, first things first. What did we learn, or what's the important from the video? Is the important is that there are two types of relative clauses. Okay. The first ones are defining, and the second one are non-defining. And what's really the difference? Well, really, it's similar. The only difference is. Technically, we have commas. In non-defining, we have a comma before and we have a comma after the statement, okay? And that's it. That's the main difference. And how do you know what's different and which one is defining and which one is not defining? Well, think of it this way. If I eliminate the clause, if I eliminate the words that are in black, the bold words, I say New Orleans is a city. Mm. It doesn't give me a lot of information about this city. It doesn't give me a lot of information about this. Okay, it's just like if I say Santa Ana is a city. Okay, but there's no information. So then that helps me understand that I need this information or this information is essential for this statement in order to make it a complete idea. But in the second part, if you eliminate the part that's in black, you eliminate the part that's in bold, and we only have Seoul is, a well, is well known for its shopping. It's still a complete sentence. We already know uh, what the idea is, Seoul and its shopping, and it's well known for that. So we don't need this information. This is just extra information. The same for the next one. You see, there are many temples and shrines in Kyoto. Ah, that's a complete idea. But we can have more information or more details with by adding which used to be the capital of Japan. Okay. Now, this helps us so that we can understand when you're not sure, eliminate the part that's in bold or eliminate the part after where, that, or which, and that will tell you if it's defining or non defining. Does that help you understand a little bit what, what it is defining and non defining clauses? Yes. Okay. It is a, a, like a thin, a thin line there. But okay. <laughs> the thing is know. that the the defining relative clauses can't stand by itself, giving your information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need a, an extra information. Let's say that like that, right? Yeah, they need that the, exactly. Let me give you an example so you can get an idea. Okay. All right, here is a sentence. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. But it doesn't tell you anything. Like this is for El Salvador. Surf City is a project, but it doesn't tell us anything. Surf, but if I put in 
Surf City is a project which focuses on the development of surfing in La Libertad, or which focuses on the development of uh, business in, uh, on the coast, in El Salvador. Ah, this is an idea of a relative clause. So the way that you can think of it is, if you read only the sentence, it doesn't tell you anything. It could be, you know, uh, Siman is a project. Uh, Timbuktu is a project. It doesn't say anything really relevant. It doesn't help you identify. So you need that extra information to identify. The function or the purpose of clauses, of relative clauses, is to identify specific things. Okay? So if I tell you... Um, as an example here, to make it easier in, in the class, okay? If I tell you she is a student, who am I talking about? I don't know. You don't know, okay? But if I say she is a student who cut her hair today, mm. who, then we know her. Then we know her. Who am I talking about? You're talking about, let me see, uh, Miriam. Medium. That's right. I'm talking specifically about Miriam. Because and that's the difference. Because if I eliminate this, you don't have the complete idea. So that's how you know that it is necessary. It's a defining clause. Because you need this information to identify the thing. Okay? Okay, Roger that. Okay, so if I say eh, it is a beautiful city, you don't know. Call Metapan. Okay. Maybe Metapan, maybe Santa Ana, maybe Aguachapan or Apaneca, you don't know. But it's, if I yeah. say, it's a beautiful city when there's no traffic jam. <laughs> okay, all right, that could be for the time. I'm talking about San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> or any city, yes. So to. Yeah. You need to be, to, the idea of relative clause is to give something that can identify this unique city or this thing. So it is a city where the Pope lives. Ah, there's only one city where the Pope lives. It is a city where there is a Statue of Liberty. How did you mention Vatican or Vaticano? Or? Vatican, that's right. The Vatican. Va Vatican. Vatican. That's right. Okay. You see, so this is the information that is the relative clause. This is a defining relative clause because without this information, you don't have a clear idea what I'm talking about. I don't, does that help you guys a little bit more? Yeah, it's pretty great for to me, teacher. Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is to make sure that is understood, we have a couple of sentences uh, with our partners is going to be exercise 3.2 in the platform. Okay, just to make sure everybody sees. It's this one. We're not going to try to get complicated and do a lot of things and do no. First, we're going to try to do the ones that we have. So we're going to read the sentences. We're going to identify the relative clause. So here, which is the clause, okay? And then we're going to rewrite the same sentence, only we're going to put the commas where they are necessary. Now, how do we know where they are necessary? Well, if you have the WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp, you can see the examples. If you are here in class, you can see the examples from the previous video, which I'll show you right now so that it's clear. How do you know where they're going to put the commas, okay? Well, here we go. Okay. To Africa. Okay, so how do we know? Well, we know because first, when we identify the relative clause, we always identify because it starts with one of these words, which, where, who, that, whom, okay? And then, where it finishes the topic before the next verb. So here's another verb. Ah, so that means it's only this part. And I put a comma before it, and I put a comma at the end. 
this comma is the function like where I can separate it, where I can eliminate the situation. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information. Is that okay? This, what is the function of the comma? Uh, the, con the function of the comma is like to identify, oh, here you can take this part out and it's still the complete sentence. So what are we gonna do with our partners? Well, with our partners, we're gonna go to the first exercise about them, 3.2, and we want to identify it. Where is it? Where is this relative clause? Okay, so where do we put the comma? Do we put it here, 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 here? Where do we put the comma? All right, remember, if the relative clause is in the middle, you need two commas, one at the beginning and one when it finishes. If the relative clause is at the end, you only need one comma because at the end we have a period. Are you ready to try a little bit with your partners? Ready. Okay. Ready. Let's, sure, try. let's do it. Let's do it. It's, it's just a matter of place the comma right there, right? Have you got the, the exercise? Or should you prefer that I read it? I, we, we help you and uh, yeah. We can help you and you do the, the exercise because I cannot. Okay. Um, just let me in into the platform. Okay. You can read it and then we can like help. Over here and come on over here. Submit. Uh, no. 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 Uh, Bangkok, which? Bang Bangkok, comma, which is the capital of the Thailand, comma, comma. has many excellent. Restaurants and markets and, and point. And markets, yes, point. I don't know. Le, le, uh, I think it's correct. Let's let's do all the all the sentences. Uh, Daniel, are you agree? Okay. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Uh, if Hong you Kong. want, you can try. You can try number two. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. Hong Kong. Comma. Okay. Which was? Number two, Elias. No, number two, Elias. Okay. Uh, I think it's Hong Kong, which was a British colony. Uh, uh, Hong Kong, comma, which was? 
which was a British. Uh -huh. mm, which was a British colony until 1927. Uh, mm, uh, no. Okay, I, I got confused. Uh -huh. No, no. No, no, no. Uh, Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, comma, when it was returned to China, maybe. I think the comma is after 1997, but then uh -huh. I'm yes. not sure uh -huh. about it. When, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hong Kong us? was a British colony until Yeah. Uh, Let's see the the second one. Um, you you are correct. It should be right after 1997 because remember, relative clauses have to begin with one of those words like which, where, when, that. Um, it's mm -hmm. not, and in this case, because it's at the end, it's only one comma. You're not going to have two comma. Only one comma. Okay, only one comma. But, but then after 1997, comma. That's it. Then the when it was returned to China. Ah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Ah, it's correct, teacher. But why? But why we have incorrect number one? All right. Let's see. Which? Go ahead. Move the. Okay. Oh, Bangkok. See. Bangkok, comma, which is the capital of uh -huh. Thailand, comma. Has many excellent restaurants and markets. Point. I would think that maybe your mistake would be some place you have two spaces. I, I would double check because your comma, Bangkok, comma, one, uh huh. That's uh -huh. right. Of Thailand, comma, and then just one space has many excellent restaurants and markets. What's between has and many? Uh, between has and many is has, one space. Yes, because I I copy I copy the the exercise. Yeah. I I just add the the comma. Okay. Try. Yes, it. I yes. Let's try. Yeah, that yeah. would be. Uh huh. I don't know why it's incorrect. Ah, I, 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 ¿cómo se dice quita? I, quité el punto. That ah. was a mistake. Ah, there you okay. go. There you okay, go. ahorita ah. quita el punto, yo there también. You, there you go. All right, keep going, keep going. Uh -huh. and, and I taking out the comas and it's still, it's grown. Which yeah. one, same, which one, Ernesto? Oh. The number Here we one. Have the teacher. Hi, teacher. Four. Number one, uh, can Number you share? Four. Can you share your screen? Yeah. Give All right. Sure. Let's see what what the mistake seems to be. Okay. Number okay, one. I Bangkok. put the comma here. Correct. And then here there is Thailand. another comma. Okay. And at the end, uh, and then I just copy and paste everything. Yeah. And it says it's, it's gone. And it said it was wrong, huh? Uh -huh. Do, do me a favor and in number one, mm, eliminate the period at the end. I think you have a period. Yeah, eliminate that. Okay, check now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come oh, on. It, it must be the same situation no, in number it's, four. It's, Try yes. number, try, I was going to say, try the same thing for number four. I'm not sure what you put in number four, but try the same thing. Mm, ah, no. Give me a second. Still mistake in second. number four. No, and I, I forgot to put the first comma. Let me see. Bogota, which is situated in a high planet uh, in central Colombia. Weather. Uh -huh. Let's see. No. Mm. See. Mm hmm No, in the Central. number four, it doesn't number work four, that. No, it didn't work the, eliminated the, okay. the period. Mm -hmm. And 
you check that everything has only one space, right? Uh, yes. I copy from the example. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. With the, I had a, a mistake here. Let me check. It's still wrong. No. And yeah, I checked and everything is, I mean, there is not an extra space. Okay, do me a favor and try Bogota without the tilde in the A. Try just a normal oh, A. Oh, yeah, maybe. Try, try just Bogota. Okay, Bogota. All right, doesn't seem to be. Okay, Bogota, comma. Hmm. All right, let me check in the platform. Let me see what, what they have. Uh, okay. <clears throat> ah, okay, all right, I think. Do me a favor and yep. try a Bogota, which, the comma, okay, but do not, a, do not put a space between Bogota and uh, the the witch. Mm -hmm. Without space. Without space. Try it without space. <laughs> like this. We got it. <laughs> it's done. No, no. Kama goes after Bogota and Bogota with with tilde. Bogota. Just try Bogota. Comma without space and then the rest as we have it. Bogota, comma, non space, which and then space between within words. Yes, without the tilde. No, with, 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 the tilde. With, with the tilde. With, yes. with, with, with the, the tilde. tilde. The only thing that you're gonna do is to not, not have a space. So, yeah, uh -huh, not having a space between I both times. Which have a run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's still run without oh, because the space. Copy and paste, and then just uh, it, it, it is it is it is good for me. It's good for you. Yeah, something. Yeah, it's got to be something er Ernesto is writing. Yeah. Mm. Try copy and paste. Elimin better. Elimin and eliminate everything, and so that way you're sure. Eliminate everything, mm -hmm. and then do it again. And copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Eliminate, mm -hmm. and then copy from the original sentence. Okay. The whole sentence. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And then only put a comma after Bogota and a W. Double. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Check. There is another, no, no, you need oh, the other yeah. comma. Oh, sorry, sorry, you forget the other okay. comma. Yes, 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 you're right, yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. Columbia, comma. Comma, okay, now check. Uh, yeah. There yeah, you yeah. go. <laughs> mm -hmm. The thing was just to submit the, the space. Supreme, I guess, I, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Now we have 10. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you know, teacher, this kind of, I, that's what I, I don't like the writing stuff here in the platform because you have to, to sometimes the person who probably. Or who typed the it. Answers, yeah, yeah, they didn't. They type just... wrong and, and, and it makes you stress. Waste a lot of time. Yeah, 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 definitely. All right, mm. let's. Let me go back. See how our, let's see how everybody else is doing. Okay, thanks. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello, hello. How are you guys? Any questions? Everything was okay? 
Uh, I have problem with number four, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Let me explain. Okay. Number four. Number four is that yes, the, right. the solution is copy and paste the sentence. Copy, uh -huh. copy and paste the sentence, and put the commas in the correct place. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, where is going to be the comma? The comma is going to be after Bogota. Correct, correct. Comma after Bogota, but no yes. space, no space between Bogota and which? No space. Okay. No space. And then no space. the other no comma, the other comma is going to be after Colombia, right? Ah, uh, yeah. This is the tricky part. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. If you are confused, look in the chat. If you are confused, just look in the chat. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, teacher, the teacher, person. Re repeat, repeat. Check in the chat, Claudia. Look in the chat. <laughs> ah, okay. Look in the chat. I, Is, I told my partner that it was a silly, uh, a silly thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a silly mistake. It's just the, the mistake is that when the person who wrote it, they didn't put a space between the comma and after Bogota and the comma. They didn't put the space for it. And so then the computer doesn't accept it because the computer doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I thought that was the answer. But uh, the little period, the, the little space was the one that's giving us problems. Yeah. But now we know. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And that that is the only uh, technical mistake. So if you have a mistake in the other one, it's because you did something wrong. No, no. The other ones, we got them. We got okay. them right. Okay. Only the, only the last one, I guess. I, don't, I wasn't looking at that. Okay, perfect. The exercise. Making sure, making sure, yes. Because if you got the other ones wrong, then it's something was wrong. But are there any questions or any? any <laughs> something was wrong with us. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's something was wrong with the answer. Uh huh. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we got. I think got in, right. in number one there is a mistake as well. Number one, I don't think so, but I will double check. At so the I have end. to put the, the, the point at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to take out the point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. El eliminate the period. That's right. That's right. Period. Yeah. 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 The point. Yeah. Uh, that, that's. Mm -hmm. You're correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the sentence has to be written correctly, but the period there should be no period at the end for number one. Okay. Are we okay up to there? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes. Excellent. And you see, this is the this is the benefit of coming to the class and making sure we work the platform together. That way, if you do this at home on Saturday or Sunday, I, you are throwing the computer to the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, <laughs> I think, I think that's all right. Yeah. yeah, you got frustrated with this platform. How long is so difficult? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Code. Uh, yeah. Code. Like, for me, uh, I will have to start working the platform um, tomorrow. No problem. Or maybe maybe a little bit tonight. But I already, I, I was able to get go in, get into the platform. But I just don't know how to like use it. Not the same but, thing. Okay. The same thing that we've been doing in class. Only you go okay. for each lesson, and the same thing. That's that like we the same thing that we just did. That's what you do in the platform. You complete it or. In some of them, you have to select your answer or, or write it. Listen to some videos and then uh, yeah. or read and then go through whatever. I think the most difficult for you, Jose, is going to be remembering those mistakes in the platform. The ones that, that we corrected in class, the ones that we identify. That's Definitely. where it, it's going to be. But, you, you know, I have like a, like a lot of experience on that. Maybe I'm trying to, you know, okay. do okay. what I can. Yeah. My own. In remember, in general, it has to do with the tilde that looks like the apostrophe. That's one, and the yeah. other the other tip is a uh, check check uh, two spaces. Many times you have two spaces between words, okay. and the and the last common mistake is the period. Sometimes you need to put it, and sometimes you need to eliminate it. So if you know the answer is right you eliminate the period. If you know the answer is right and you don't have the period, you put it. And usually 
between these three problems is is going to be the solution okay good or the, the other one that it says instead of on it was off or something like that it, it, that yeah right. it, yeah it was something like that i mm -hmm. don't remember you you remember when you do the exercise then you remember yeah okay I hope. <laughs> yeah all right in this moment we're gonna form our groups again i'm just just kind of or it's me oh sorry sorry medium oh, yes if you don't remember you can ask us in, in the chat in the we, chat group yeah. yes yes okay we are, uh, we are here to help you thank you thank, thank you thanks a lot yeah great all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, we're gonna make new groups and in our new groups we're gonna talk about cities that we have visited and we liked. And you're gonna describe why you like the city, what city was it? It can be in El Salvador, it can be outside of El Salvador, it doesn't matter. All we want to do is practice our descriptions. We're gonna practice it using our vocabulary, like what do we like about it? Do we like the you know the architecture? Do we like the environment? Do we like the activities, the food, whatever it is. So we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna talk about places or cities that you have visited. Maybe it was Apaneca, maybe it was La Palma, maybe it was, you know, Antigua Guatemala, I don't know. Whatever places you have visited that you liked and what did you like about those cities, okay? Okay. All right. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. A little cold. Okay. <laughs> what about oh, really? you? Uh, yeah, same. Not not like yesterday or like um, Tuesday, but I, I'm I still wearing a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> little bit. <laughs> I need to use this clothes. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Okay. Let me. If you want, I'm gonna start. Okay. It's okay. okay. About the uh, cities that I have visited. Um, I like, um, well, it, let's see, like Central America, uh, Granada, I like it. Been. Um, I have been in no many places, but I have visited El Sunsal Beach, which is a really beautiful place where you can find a lot of restaurants with delicious food and that's the most recent place i have visited in in these years because i don't used to go out that frequently mm -hmm. i think that's all <laughs> <laughs> okay sandra the greatest okay the you're describing sunsal beach but what did you like about it Okay, what, okay, that's what you want to do. What activities did you do there or what you enjoyed or you say it has great food. Okay, what food did you try? What did you, what do you recommend? Things like that. So you want to just not only say the city, but you know what it is specifically that you okay. liked about it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. When I were there, when I was there, I was this. Uh, all of, all, all day uh, with my job. Uh, because I, I I work in I work in Fayua. but uh, Apaneca is a beautiful place. Uh, um, uh, and the rico. weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the weather is great cool. there. Heladito. Antigua Guatemala. Antigua Guatemala. Eh, the weather eh, okay. in Guatemala eh, for me is very, eh, very beautiful because eh, the the weather is cool. Eh, mm -hmm. I need to go there every two two time and 
in, in a year, um, in Christmas. In Christmas. Yes, in Christmas okay. and in, uh, Semana Santa. I don't know. In Semana Santa. I like to go there. Yes, I guess it is Holy Week. Yes, yes Holy Week. It's okay. Yes. Oh, mm, okay. Yes. Frequently on, on the week. Around the tower. And you are able to watch the whole city from the top. It is beautiful. Yes, actually it is. I mean, I guess that that's basically one of the most uh, best experience that you have that you have had, right? Uh, have you ever been there, Angelica? Oh no, not. But of course I will. I mean, that's that's like one of my yeah, dreams. That's, yeah, that's that's a must in your in the to do list. <laughs> yes, exactly. for traveling. <laughs> Yeah, the nice thing of that, the nice, the nice thing of that building is that the the top of the building rotate. Oh, really? And you don't have to move the the building moves and show you uh, uh, three hundred sixty degrees of the of the city, and it has like big screens on the on the windows that going explaining to you that area it is brooklyn for example and mm. important things that happen in brooklyn at that uh, mm -hmm. all the spins okay, okay. so uh it was a nice architecture it was a huge uh hotel where you check in and you don't pay nothing it's for free so yeah uh, yeah. And then, just, uh, why why is famous uh, for Tennessee, Jose? Uh, it's it's, it's Elvis called uh, uh, Elvis Presley. Uh, yes, Elvis Presley is. Yeah, he's no he's well known in Dallas. Uh, any casino, they will know a lot about Elvis Presley because he used to perform there. Mm. And but I think in Memphis there is a uh, a house. Or a museum uh, from Elvis. I'm not sure. No, I'm, I'm not too familiar with that. I might uh, heard of it. I might heard of it before, but I don't remember anymore. Cities visited another city that I have visited, and I like it a lot. It could be Valencia in Spain. Wow. It's if you have a time for make a trip on Europe, go there. It's in front of the sea, like Barcelona and all this coast of Malaga and all these cities. But Valencia is beautiful because it's it's, it's a it's a it's a little city, and it got um, all the streets are closer to the beach, and the the food is delicious. Uh, there's a beautiful park uh, that is like um, like something a concept like Disneyland and I like all the, that environment it's funny because there's a river without water and they call the <laughs> let's you they tell you oh, walk around the river and you are walking walking and walking and you are in the river then when you walk a lot in the city you understand that that they they're used to how do you say teacher uh, ahí había un río. It used to be a river there? That is correct. There used to be a river there. Okay, I'm sorry. So it used to be a river there, but now where the river goes there, there's, um, how do you say, columpios? <laughs> swings. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot it. Yeah, there used to be swings, uh, a lot of beautiful things, uh, basketballs, um, f uh, fields. Okay. All right. So uh, let me see who's, I think we have most people back. We have a few people back. All right. So uh, the idea was for us to start talking about cities because tomorrow's class 
um, we're going to be looking at section 3.4. And 3.4 is really describing what makes a city, okay? And there are many things that we mentioned that we can also include when we're describing a city. For example, it's architecture, the cuisine, the customs, the festivals, uh, the history, the nightlife, the scenery, the shopping, and many more things that even we mentioned, you know? Uh, there's maybe festivals that we talk about or events or, you know, maybe it's uh, famous because there's uh, someone famous that was born there or something like this. So tomorrow we're going to use this information and we're going to try to combine it with the relative clauses. For example, the city where, you know, uh, uh, where it's called the Big Apple. Okay. Yeah. For example, something like that or the city which is called the Big Apple. So we're going to be taking a look at those things. So the idea is... First, if you haven't completed unit two or lesson two, start working on it. Don't let it go, don't wait too long because believe me, it, the work, it gets a lot of work and it gets, sometimes you, for, for one or two exercises, you fall behind and then you're not doing it and then you're running at the last minute to try to catch up. So, you know, little by little. And that way, if you have any questions or if you have a problem that you don't remember what the solution was, we can explain it in class again because that's the purpose, to help each other. If you are working on it and you know, and you have a moment, send a WhatsApp. Maybe somebody from the group can answer it. You know, not necessarily me. Sometimes somebody has already done the exercise and they know the problem and, or they remember what is the problem and how to correct it. And that's another way that we help each other. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna pause there. Tomorrow is Friday. Normally we would relax, but not this week. Remember, this week we'll have class tomorrow. So I hope to see you tomorrow. And if I don't, then I know you're going to have a party and go out and celebrate and enjoy. Yeah, it. I was about to tell you that, teacher. <laughs> we should we should make a party during the class. There you go. There you go. It's COVID, Friday night. COVID party. Yeah. COVID that party. way you can be sure that we're all gonna be here. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Good, 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.